Okay, so Josh Wellner, you commented on one of my videos about you know line watching, and it made me think. I've never actually done a video on what it is to run one of these yarders. Now, granted, I've only been in one for a little over a year and a half, so I, I'm not a master at it. You know, I've, I enjoy doing it, and I think that helps some. But um, I'll just tell you all what I know, and that is um, the name for the operator of one of these is either yarder engineer, donkey puncher, line tamer, spool daddy, um, spool master, and there's, uh, what's the other one? Uh, throttle jockey, that's a good one. Um, and so, from where I'm sitting, I have a side view window, as I've shown you before. And from where I'm sitting, I can see 27 wraps on my skid line drum, and there's 2,000 feet of 5 8 wedge skidding line on there. So I work in terms of how many lays I can, how, you know, like how many lays the guys are away from me. And it's not always exact. I kind of look at it and go, okay, so the guys are about two lays down, um, halfway into the drum, or a quarter of the way into the drum, or three quarters of the way into the drum. And if they're towards the end of it, then I'll go, okay, I'm four wraps away from the stop. Uh, if we're downhill, and I'll be looking at the haul back drum on getting the stop. And that thing holds um, 3,000 feet of 5.8 standard line. And your, um, it's got about 27 um, wraps on it as well per lay. And then our um, Skyline drum, that holds approximately 1,850 feet of three-quarter swedge. And, um, and of course, uh, my guy lines, there's four of them. That's an inch and an eighth, 250 feet per drum. And um, two is 50 feet. I mean, we're 50 feet in height total. And I've got five static guy lines on here that keep the tube upright when I don't have any lines in the air. And what they do also is I've got two static guy lines out the front. Let's see if you can see them here. And what those do is you want those taut when you're yarding uphill. So if you snap a, a skyline or something like that, or your tail hold pulls, and it, it shocks the tube backwards, um, it doesn't topple the tube all the way over. Because those are taut, they keep the tube upright and they keep you from getting in trouble. And there's one on the back, and that's static. So if you like pull your guy line stumps or something like that, it keeps the tube from you know, going all the way forward and um, wrecking everything. I've had this thing just about tip over twice. Uh, one time it was, it pulled all three stumps at the same time. We were in a setting where we just, all we had were you know, kind of some funky stumps, couldn't twist her back to anything and it sucked. I was new, um, couldn't feel what was going on really behind me. Now I know better, um, but just about had a major incident. Fortunately, the turn in the carriage touched the ground. And the, the, two, the yarder was sitting at 45, so it didn't go all the way over. The other time I pulled a stump and started tip forward and I um, dumped my skyline before you know, we had a major incident. So that's a story there, um, and all the controls out in front of me there, those are all air operated. I've got um, two big hydraulic pumps running my track drive and one auxiliary hydraulic pump for my guy lines and um, then raising my spar. And then I've also got, um, let's see. A separate hydraulic pump from a shovel for tilting this cap because it tilts over like a newer yarder. And what else? This thing's 
got a, a 425 horse AP92. Um, it's got a, a funk torque converter, kind of like what the Manitowoc Dreams had in them. And it doesn't have any gears, just as soon as you start winding on it, it's providing you all your power for your drum set. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the story there. Um, I can't think of anything else I can tell you. you know, to, You get kind of a feel for you know how hard you're pulling on something and when things are going to break. Uh, for instance, my skid line drum has a max line pull when it's empty of 50,000 pounds. When the drum is full, it's got a max line pull of um, 25,000. I don't recall. Hold on a sec. I don't recall what the haulback, uh, you know, what the line pull is like on it, but it's way less than the skid line drum, or main line drum as it's called. Um, Skyline line pull is 90,000 pounds at um, empty drum. When it's full, it's like 50,000. And then your frictions will start slipping is what happens. You just can't pull anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, and then like when you're setting one of these up, I don't know if we'll see if you can see. Uh, Bobby, man. up you couldn't see sorry through the window but with your four guy lines you want to your four guy lines when you set up your yarder you want to have um, you want to have it to where your, your level, you know, I put a little level on the top of my dash so I know, um, you know where I'm at. The guys have to block me up on either side and I walk up on top of it. And then if our, you know, furthest, if our furthest um, skid road, for instance, is like, way over here, then I have to pick up all my guy lines on the opposite side, so that once my sky line's up in the air, then my front statics aren't loose, and it doesn't try and pull the tube, you know, towards where your, your tail hold is, um, and then once you start, you know, coming around, and you're right out in front of the yard, or you know, then you pick up all your guy lines so that you've got equal tension on them all. The reason being is so that when your uh, yard pick up your skyline, you have a turn on, for instance, you uh, you have proper spooling because your tube is, is you know it's, you know straight up like that, and it's always tilted forward a little bit. But if it leans just a little bit that way or just a little bit that way, even a degree or so, it'll throw the spooling off of your main line and pullback drum to where it'll want to ball up on one side or ball up on the other side. Or It's just, it takes a little while to kind of get it sorted out you know, to where you 
get set up properly. Um, and then you, you keep track of kind of where you're at with your guy lines and what your tensions are on your guy lines. Um, there's probably guys that have run these for forever that could set them up and they don't have to fool around with them. Being that I'm so fresh at it, that's the best that I figured out with this is um, if you got one road out like that, you want to tighten your other two or three up at the opposite end, the opposite corners, so that you keep everything taut, tubes upright, and it doesn't try and pull it on you know, the side. And then as you come around, then you pick up these ones over here, make sure they're taut. Um, as you come around on it, then you'll loosen up you know, these two or three over here, tighten these up. So uh, anyway, that's about all I can um, think of right now to talk to you all about regarding setting up one of these 071s and what it's like on and on. And again, it's got air frictions. Like that's my skin line there. And that gauges it when I flip it the other way. It just Jock the throttle and use the foot brake. So, anyway, hope, uh, hope that helps and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.